What's going on, guys? In this video, we're going to be continuing our five-wide scheme out of the um, out of the Steelers playbook. If you've not been following the videos, um, you can just text me if you want to get a link to the entire scheme. Um, we've got some exclusive stuff in our text message membership for you about this offense. Um, this is one of my favorite offenses I've ever created. It's a lot of fun, and it's honestly really simple to run. Now, if you want to get the scheme, just text me. My number is 208-218-6900. It's also in the description of this video. Just text the word Madden over to me, and I'll send you this along with the rest of the schemes that we've created in Madden 21. And um, today we're going to be going over. Um, today we're going to be going over the play uh, corners, and we're going to be running um, a really, really, really effective concept from this. This is really, really good against both the blitz as well as um, just the standard coverages that you're going to probably face online. I love this play. I absolutely love this play, especially once we start to establish some of the other concepts within the offense. This play in particular is going to become a very, very effective concept. So what we're gonna do with this is honestly really simple. We're just gonna simply smart route the R1 receiver. And honestly, that's pretty much all I do. Now, typically what's gonna happen, just from knowing from experience, if you get a blitz, then your read is gonna be over here on the left side. If you don't get a blitz, then you're gonna come back over here to the right. So your first look is always to this quick throw to the in route every single time this in route is so good now as you and of course of course i get picked off first play now as you see the seam flats are the only zone in the game that can guard it the only zone in the game that will jump that is the seam flat so out of my blitz three you get that you get these seam flats so if they jump down on that in route you see how he jumps inside then you can throw outside to your corner route just like that right there okay really really easy um to just simply do that okay um, but then the, the point of this is every other thing that they do is going to leave vulnerable to this dig. So you see right here, you're basically just simply pass leading that down and you're going to get a completion almost every single time if they blitz you um, and if there's no yellow zone in that field. The other thing that I really like about this is depending on the corner routes, most of the time the corner route's going to be open no matter what. It's, it just seems like within this play. So... Like you'll see right here, see how it gets sucked inside every single time, and I can almost always throw this corner route to to Brown. Um, let me show you another defense that you're going to see a lot. You're going to see a lot of people that will take this guy and they'll man him up on the slot, um, especially if they're going to send pressure. I get a lot of that because, and the reason why is because they're going to basically um, rely on that to take away the seam read, which is very possible if we just simply streaked the triangle receiver. It would also be very effective because you would be able to snap throw that. But I love the corner route. And the reason why is because here you'll see it just continues to open up a lot of space for your little quick in route. If they do that, then you're going to have that open. Now, let's talk a little bit about man-to-man uh, -man pressure. So if you get um, – if you if they go to like Mike Blitz, zero, and they, they basically give you this look right here, you notice that the slot corner is actually going to move over to the other side. What this is going to now do is it's going to say, okay, well, now we're going to look to the right at the snap of the ball. And what you're going to see is if they try to run main coverage on you, this corner route on the right side is going to kill it every single time for a one-play touchdown. If they run main coverage and they blitz you, that route is open every single time. Every single time, without fail, that route is going to be absolutely so daggone effective. As you can see here, if they go, and, and I'll shade coverage up, and you'll still see it's going to be really good because the core, the safety has to come down, and then he has to go up, right, which is going to allow that to get open. Now, uh, another thing that you can do from this that's really good against the blitz, um, especially against the man-to-man the man -to -man blitz, because the man-to-man -man blitz, honestly, from five wide, I honestly think that man pressure um, is probably the riskiest, but at the same time, probably the best way to defend five wide. But you're going to see that this, um, first of all, if they press you, your corner routes on both sides are going to get wide open, as you can see. Um, the corner route on the right side is going to be a touchdown every single time. So if they press you, just throw the corner route. But if they do this, which I think this is more effective, if they shade their coverage upfield, then what you're going to do is just low ball this hitch. Um, that hitch will always win against if against a uh, shaded coverage up uh, zone. So if you get, you know, basically what you're doing is if the slot corner is on the right side, or then you're going to throw to the left. If the slot corner is on the left, then you're going to now work the right side combination. So you'll see here, um, this is 
shaded coverage up, and I can still throw my corner route really, really easily right off the rip. I can also, if I have an ability there, it's going to be even more separation. Um, so it's just it's a really good play against man blitz. Um, now, the other read that you can make on this against man coverage is this. Uh, again, this is really important as long as they don't get pressed. Okay, so just bear with me. But as long as they don't get pressed, um, this X receiver, he will beat man if he gets bumped, if he gets jammed. He's just not going to beat man as fast if he gets jammed. Um, so if you're getting the pressure, this is one of my favorite plays in the game. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about this hitch route over here on the right against this. So this hitch route, um, you see it's kind of in the same boat as the dig. A seam flat can kind of give it some trouble um, just because of, honestly, just because of how uh, seam flats play in this year's game. They play kind of glitchy. I will agree with that. Um, they certainly do. Uh, you'll see here that this corner route, though, has a lot of room to work on the outside. So seam flats are going to tend to sit more inside, whereas curl flats or cloud flats are going to sit more outside. So if they change these seam flats into uh, curl flats, then they'll play a little bit better against like curl flat combinations where they're going to be very vulnerable as things like this hitch route is going to get wide open. So you can really work both sides against the zone um, if you want to. Now, like I said, there's another way that you can run this play, um, and it will deter your opponent from blitzing pretty significantly. So all you're going to do is just put triangle on a streak, and um, typically you're, you're going to get something that looks somewhat like this, and they have to run down at the snap of the ball to be able to get the blitz to come in. And so what you'll see is this seam route is going to get wide open up the middle of the field as long as he hand, hangs on to the ball. Um, that seam route is going to get wide open over the middle. So that's one of the other reasons why I really like this play because if you're getting to look like this, there's really nobody that can go vertical with him other than that safety. If that left safety does not go vertical with triangle, it's wide open. If it does go vertical, um, then you're going to be throwing your dig route every time. But as you can see right there, super easy and super effective streak. So that's one little adjustment to this play that you can use. Um, if you're wanting to do that, I have found, this is just me personally, but I have found that it puts a little bit, um, it puts a lot of stress on your user on this left side. And so what then you can do off of this is let's say that they go uh, left at the snap of the ball. Well, now you can hit your tight end route right up the vertical seams. So the reason I love five wide is because it gives you, in essence, the best spacing you can possibly have on the field. Um, and so it's up to you to kind of maximize that. Another really simple way to beat the blitz from this play is just to do this combination right here. Uh, typically your hitch is going to get wide open against that. Um, and then so you can basically set that up on the left side. And then on the right side, that could be your man beater um, if you wanted to use those two routes together uh, to basically beat man-to-man -man coverage. But this is pretty much the way that I like to deal with the pressure. If I'm getting a lot of pressure, um, you know, there's some other things I could do. For example, um, one thing I would do if I'm getting a lot of specifically if I'm getting a lot of man-to-man -man pressure you'll see that I'll go to something like this and I find that these two drags with the slot corner route is really really effective together so anyways I want to thank you for watching this video this is how I like to beat the blitz from this formation um, this this tight end post route real quick you can smart route that route and again if you wanted to do that right there you see what I'm doing here on this left side you can have that as your left side and then your right side now, um, you can feel free to put him on a slant um, or something like that that's going to be a little bit better against man because you got a really good zone beater uh, to the left side. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you a little bit when you get blitzed out of five wide because it will happen. People will try to send pressure at you. You just have to be prepared for it with plays like this. And if you dot them a couple times, trust me, they're going to stop blitzing. So thanks for watching. If you want to get the full scheme, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.